here we are. <sighs> so I have to get a third surgery. I have a pituitary brain tumor and it sits on my pituitary gland and is pressing on my optic nerve. So I have to get a third surgery. Um, in my previous videos, I mentioned that um, some of it was taken out. Well, it's been discovered that the tumor has grown back. And how it was discovered is uh, because it's pressing on my optic nerve, that means that um, there it causes me to uh, lose vision. So how I found out is um, I started to notice that my peripheral vision was uh, being affected. Um, and so I went to the ophthalmologist and ophthalmologist um, ran some tests and turns out that I uh, was forbidden to drive. Well, I wouldn't say forbidden, but um, they sternly suggested that uh, it probably wouldn't be a good idea for me to drive um, due to the peripheral vision. So um, yeah, from there I had to go get an MRI and in the MRI, the results showed that uh, the tumor had grown back and also probably a little larger than it was in the beginning when I found out in 2019. So from 2019, when I had my surgeries, it grew, so that's three and a half years, it's grown. Um, larger than the size that it was in 2019. So um, with that being said, I had to go see a neurologist and then the neurologist uh, recommended uh, me to see a neurosurgeon. So that's where I am at now. Um, just uh, in finding out that it's grown back um, and hopefully this time the um, tumor can be removed. That is my hopes. That is my prayer. Um, so yeah, um, just wanted to let you know uh, why I'm getting uh, a third surgery again, why I have to. If you have any other questions or comments, prayers, you know someone that's going through this, please um, let me know. And uh, I'll be praying for them too. Um, looking at me you probably wouldn't even know like what i'm going through right um and i smile through it all you know where there's a smile there's hope and where there's hope there's faith and smiling um is giving me that hope and my faith is strong in knowing that i will get through this um this third time and you know come out of it hopefully safe and with the tumor fully removed um, and no complications and all of that wonderful stuff. So um, thank you for tuning into my channel. Sorry, I'm all greasy. <laughs> thank you for tuning into my channel um, and listening to what I'm going through. I know in a lot of my videos I'm smiling and smiling, but hey, I don't want this to be like a somber, sad story, you know. Um, this was given to me and I know uh, through my faith in God that I will uh, get through this. Um, however, with that being said, uh, you know, even though people are strong, you know, still love and care for them and check on them and be genuine about it. You know, you never know what someone is going through. So, um, yeah. Thank you, my teacups, for tuning in um, for this short little um, 
teacup moment uh, on my videos, I will be, you know, having just like these little one-on-ones and instead of, you know, out vlogging and all of that. And this is one of those moments. So um, I welcome um, any comments. Um, if you know someone that's going through what I'm going through, please feel free to share it. Please feel free to um, subscribe to my channel also. Um, I will be taking you along on my journey and how I'll be prepping for the third surgery. There's a lot that goes into it, a lot of tests that have to be uh, ran, a lot of tests that have to be taken and appointments and this and that. So I'll be bringing you along as well as preparing my mind and my body. Uh, so thank you again for watching um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, my teacups, here we are uh, on our way to the neurologist. We have a neurologist appointment today, so I just wanted to bring you guys along with me. Um, I won't be playing the sound just for, you know, patient privacy. Um, but some things have transpired since I found out about the third surgery. I initially had a date set um, and then found out um, due to some insurance legalities, um, well, like some insurance stuff that, you know, um, the surgeon that was going to perform the surgery um, is no longer, um, I guess, can no longer do the surgery. So I'm meeting with a neurologist today so that he can... Um, get me a referral to see um, another um, neurosurgeon. So that's what's happening here. Uh, my neurosurgeon is wonderful. Um, he made a great recommendation. So I'm hopeful that he'll be able to make another great recommendation um, for someone who will be able to do the third surgery. So he's just here going over um, what we spoke about last time. I'm letting him know what transpired with the first surgeon who was a wonderful surgeon um, and why he's no longer uh, able to do the surgery. Um, so right now we're just talking and um, he's just letting me know that, you know, it's going to be okay. Um, he's got some more great surgeons that he can, you know, refer me to. So, um, I'm just going to provide him with the information as well of some surgeons that I got a list of and see if he recognizes any of them. Um, he, his high hopes and, um, we'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated. So after all of that, um, I had to go to my favorite coffee shop dulce vida which means the sweet life you know anytime that you have um unsettling news you want to you know do something to make yourself smile and this coffee shop makes me smile um another thing that makes me smile is having mushroom coffee if you've had it let me know in the comments below and another thing is this favorite human whom i love to share my time with um so yeah, thanks for watching.